Marcus, thanks for joining us. Can you very welcome. tell us a little bit about your role at Microsoft? So I'm in the um, network architecture team in Microsoft IT. And Microsoft IT looks after the internal corporate network for Microsoft. So we're responsible for the backbone and sort of managing sort of strategic direction for the, for the company, mm -hmm. for, the, for the internal network. And what are the main drivers for Microsoft to deploy IPv6 across the entire World Wide Network? Um, the original driver was uh, to support development of um, products particularly, mm -hmm. um, and particularly with the, uh, the, 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 the advent of uh, the Vista operating system um, that required um, native IPv6 for, for testing for the product groups. So we deployed it for, the, for those reasons initially. Um, now our primary driver would be depletion of IPv4 address space. I think that's going to be the, the primary motivator now. Now, the, the, the core IPv6 was defined over 20 years ago, but now we are seeing some commercial uptake of it. But why, is there, why do you think? Has there been such a long delay? Um, I think a, a couple of factors behind that. I, mean, I, I think that there's always going to be you know, an inertia factor. Um, it's it, it, the, the people who want it, you know, sort of IT organizations, um, aren't necessarily the people who are sort of um, paying the bills, as it were. Um, it's, it's, it can be hard to sort of um, to generate the incentive to, to, to deploy um, unless there's some, you know, some, some a fairly killer app, as it were. And, and, and frankly, up, up until now, there hasn't been a killer app for IPv6. Mm -hmm. that, that's immediately apparent to, uh, to everyone, particularly in accounting departments. Mm -hmm. Are, are there particular challenges to deploying it across a, a worldwide network as you're doing, as opposed to the individual campuses that a lot of JISC members will be deploying? Yeah, across? yeah. And I think one of the things I've sort of seen here is, um, I mean, to, to your point about the, the campus networks, we, we experience a lot of the same issues. Mm -hmm. But I think in terms of deploying globally across multiple regions, the biggest issue that we've seen that different to the campus is um, internet routing mm -hmm. and how you, what you advertise first of all and, and how you advertise it um, mm -hmm. to, to steer the traffic to the right location. Mm -hmm. so that's been the, the, prim the primary sort of uh, challenge for us. Are there big lessons that have come out of that that are perhaps useful for, for those institutions that are deploying it on a smaller scale? I mean, I think, well, I mean, on a wider level for, for uh, deploying IPv6, the big lesson is um, is to, to, I guess, to be, be prepared um, and to prepare your people and to prepare the management so that there's, um, there's buy-in at all levels to, to actually doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I think if, 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 if there's sort of half-hearted buy-in, then it's, it's not going to be successful. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there still more to be done for you guys? Uh, for certainly. Um, I think we're at a stage now where we're looking at deploying IPv6 only. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of challenges with that and that we're sort of grappling with it at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I think over the next couple of years, that's going to be our direction. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that would certainly keep, keep us occupied. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned doing IPv6 only. Uh, I think up till now, there's been a lot of dual stack where you're doing IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, what do you think would be a, a realistic strategy for people moving to just IPv6 on its own? I think that's going to be down to the, you know, it sounds a bit of a cop out, but it's, it's, it's really going to be down to the individual organization. I mean, because what it comes down to effectively is the applications that are being used in the network. Mm -hmm. So if the applications um, can easily support a V6 only environment, then that's easy enough. But a lot of um, environments and even ourselves internally in some locations have um, internal applications, legacy applications that perhaps with maybe with embedded IPv4 addresses or other such features that will not support easily a, uh, if at all, uh, a v6 only network. So really what it comes down to is knowing your applications um, and, and where they're being used in the network. Mm -hmm. in, in, in terms of benefits, uh, what has the deployment meant for Microsoft? I think the primary benefit I mean, there are a couple of benefits. So first of all, obviously, I think for the product group developing products, I mean, it's, 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 a, it, it's a great test bed if we can run V6 on a, what, what it is an enormous network. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, if, if the products are going to sort of work um, on, that, on that network, then they should work in, in, in all networks. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for us to get doing it, 
IPv6 has got to be a strategic direction for everyone. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we have a head start on that by a good, by a good many years is, mm -hmm. a, is, is a positive. Okay. So we have, you know, we have that sort of um, that experience under our belt, which we're, we're kind of pleased about. Okay. Thanks for your time, Marcus. No, you're very welcome. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.